Good morning, guys. It's me, Sloan. And today is the first day of the week, Monday. And we are under construction. Yay! Notice how overjoyed I am. See, this morning, I was supposed to have a family member here. Well, I was supposed to have them here last night so that this morning I could go to my appointment. I should have been in the car about 20 minutes ago to head to my appointment so that they could take over and deal with the construction and I could go to my post-op appointment and deal with that. But things didn't work out and I am stuck here with, well, waiting for construction to happen. But before it does, I wanna show you the floor and stuff before construction because I need to document that for court. Um, but I wanted to bring up a, a strange fact. Here's the thing. I, I, I love to, to bring this up because I try to remind myself of it on a regular basis. Expectation is the leading cause of disappointment. Had I fully expected my family to handle this for me, I would be really disappointed right now. But I have asked kind of expected this to happen and so therefore I really well I already had it planned to miss my appointment this morning I do not plan to miss my appointment on Thursday afternoon and I plan to make that very very clear to the building manager when he shows up in under an hour so I'm going to take you on a quick walkthrough oh the reason I brought that up right you ever notice how a cheating spouse will turn around and use that situation against the non-cheating spouse. Oh, you're cheating on me. And then they start getting jealous and all of that. Well, I've noticed that, seeing as how I don't have a cheating spouse, I've noticed that with my family members, normally they get jealous, and it's so weird, over me as if they are a spouse. Then they start picking at other people in my life outside of the family who actually help me because they see some sort of well they're intimidated by someone who will actively help me and actually be there for me because if I rely on this person then I'll realize what a flake that person is being I find that very very interesting so on that note Yes, even family can flake on you. And while I'm not necessarily okay with that, I'm kind of okay with that because I understand my family and how they work. And that's why when I ask certain people to do things, I already take it into consideration that they're not gonna or that they might not. And so I have a contingency plan for every single freaking contingency plan there possibly can be. On that note, let's go take a look at my living room. Okay, so this is what's going on with my living room. If you'll notice the black lines on my floor, they are representing where the floor is actively broken. And right here before the floor is broken, where my foot kind of is, uh, can you see it? Nope, okay, well, around here, this area, this area of the floor here is actually uh, warped, whereas those parts of the floor are actively broken. And towards that wall, it is warped, as you can tell, where the black is. Okay. This is pre-construction, guys. Now, the bathroom floor is a little more complicated, and with the lights on, you can't really see it. But I have put black tape every single place where the floor is warping or falling into the floor beneath it. That should, in theory, be taken care of today. Joy of joys. This is my life. 
I'm sorry, I have to still lean against the wall because I forgot to grab my cane and walk across my apartment. So there is that, and this is the joy of being me. Are you jealous yet? I'm sure you are, and I will talk to you guys soon.